turn on our microphone and say, add new command. Otherwise, on the Dragon toolbar, go to Tools, Add New Command. The My Command Editors dialog box appears, and this is the tool that helps us build this macro. Right? So the first thing that we want to do is the light is flashing here, and My Command's name. So we need to choose a name for our command. Okay, choose a phrase that's easy to remember and not likely to be used in normal dictation. So for our first example, we will create a signature macro. So I'm going to choose Insert Signature. But it's important that when you're naming your macros, you choose a descriptive name. Try not to make it too long, but also don't make it too short. You want to create a macro name between two and five words is usually the best, and avoid single words. So we will name our macro Insert Signature. Okay, in this field, the description. We need to enter a description, right? This is where you enter a description that will help you identify the command. My philosophy is if you come up with a good naming scheme for the macro, you won't need to necessarily write a description of what that macro will do. Hopefully within your name, it will be descriptive enough, but this is an optional field for you. Enter what you wish. In this field, the group, we want to specify a group. So we're going to specify whether this command will be a dragon command or a user-defined command. If it's a user-defined command, you can type over the user-defined field with the group name of your choice. Then the group name will appear in your list the next time you create a command. Also, the benefit of putting them in a group will make them easier to find and manage within the command browser. So I'm going to type over this user defined field and type in my name. I see that my name is already on the list, letting me know that I've already created a command in the past and put it in a group of Josh. Okay. Then we have the availability. This is essentially asking where do you want this custom command to work? Global means it will work everywhere. Application specific lets you know that it will only work within a certain application that you specify by opening the list or browsing through your computer.